Hello. Hi. So what's the story with these horses? These are all the horses that I have rehabbed and rehomed or given sanctuary to in the last three years. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what the horse looked like today. I picked them up. Pretty skinny. Yeah. Very skinny. And that's what he looked like after. Did a really good job. Thank you. So, what do you uh, feed him? Would you just put him out on a grass pasture or what? No, no. When you have a when you have a starved horse, you have to introduce food slowly, usually five times a day, because they could be in different levels of organ failure. And if you were to feed a horse like you feed a normal, regular horse, you could kill him. So when they're in that bad of body condition, you feed them five small meals a day. I sat down and, you're and I always like, give them just out the hay. Stephen, it's very right easy to digest and it's very high in calories. And then depending on what their blood work says, they usually need to go on all kinds of supplements. And in the case of Danny, that's all rain run. So he was bathed with antibiotic, antifungal veterinarian shampoo every five days and he was also on antibiotics because it was so bad that he had to heal from the inside out. When you're in very humid conditions, especially in Florida, and the horse gets rained on, and it's wet, and it stops raining, and it's humid, and a horse is underweight or has a compromised immune system, it can develop rain on. It's a fungus, so all this fungus grows, and then this area here is where the skin and the hair came off. So then you have to regrow skin and hair. There's varying degrees of it, like that's extreme. Have, have another picture of. Do you have another picture of rain rot? Um, that Chili. is rain rot before it's taken off. Yeah. And then we have. Um, that is also rain rot right there. Yeah. A, a lot of underweight horses have it. A lot of neglected horses also have it because their immune system's compromised. Just like a person. If you're not being fed and you're not in an optimal condition, your immune system isn't boosted like someone that's in the sunlight and has good hygiene and is eating well. So there are also horses that can be in good condition that can also get rain rot. It does happen, but it's never that severe. Never that severe. Most of the horses we feed a feed called Triple Crown Senior, which is nationwide. It's beet pulp based and it's very low in sugar. Triple Crown is great for horses that have Cushing's horses that need lower sugar and a lot of horses need supplements and minerals and rice bran and weight builder <laughs> so um, i actually I, I own two horses you do what type um, yeah so one is a pink and the other is a uh, i don't remember what the breed is she's uh she's great though but um yeah, so we have a horse shelter, so I'm not a Correct. I definitely found alfalfa, it does help with keeping the weight on, so we try yes. different types of hay. And Didn't work, did it? Uh, Your grass hays don't really, grass hays are great for easy keepers. Our personal horses are paints and Rocky Mountain horses. They're gated breed. And we have what, five that are almost obese that get very little grain and they're on a, a round bale of grass or they're strictly on grass. But 99% of the rescue horses through rehabbing are on a path. So where do you get your hay from? Because we're having a hard time nowadays finding hay that is extremely expensive. <laughs> it's all extremely expensive. Okay. It all is because we can't grow it. All you can grow in Florida is Coastal and Tifton. And I don't feed Coastal, but I do feed Tifton to my personal horses. All our hay is shipped in. A bale of alfalfa is $28. It's ridiculous. Everything's so expensive. So expensive. We currently have seven horses in the rescue right now. Six more coming in in the next 13 days. 
I always have a wait list. I always have a wait list. Because you know life happens. And I work with a lot of the counties, Nassau County, Levy County, and Baker County will call me and say, we've seized some horses, can you take them? And we rehab them and rehome them, and the ones that can't be rehomed, they stay at my farm forever. We give them sanctuary.